Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so today I'm playing with um, some of the Profusion Multichromes and the Metachrome uh, palette. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and play with the black uh, base and see how that affects the Multichromes. And um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm back. I cleaned up. Uh, with my microfiber cloth here. This is the way that this first look came out. And yeah, this way that it worked out here. And actually, yeah, I thought it would be patchier, but it really isn't. It's, it's pretty. Uh, very dark and very pretty. And as far as moving toward the second look, we'll go ahead and use this one. And this one is virtual reality here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brush with my AOA swatch here. And uh, we'll get started. So uh, going back to the Metachrome by Profusion. Again, these are available over at Walmart and um, or on the Profusion website. And um, the, yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the outer ring is going to be the mats. The inner ring is going to be the duo and the multi-chromes. And I think with this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this color that goes like a white to a pink here on the upper, right under the brow here. And this one is actually going blue on the black base. So I didn't get the base as even on this eye, but yeah. That did go blue. And um, I think what I'll do as far as the outer corners, go ahead and do this one. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Again, they're showing up. I mean, I was kind of kind of worried that with the black base they wouldn't show up at all but they're all showing up so there's that and then as far as moving toward the actual lid and using the virtual reality shade take me just a second here again be careful with these they are very very pigmented and very loose here and again, I think I'm going to go around the outside to go ahead and uh, get some. Oh, wow. So it went red. Um, if you take a look in here, it looks pretty orange. And then if you take a look at what happened on my eye, yeah, it went red. So. So that's what it did. It went really, really red. So the black base actually does really help to really bring out the duochromes. I was sort of doubting it, you know, but I wanted to go ahead and try it since they had gone ahead and put together a kit and said, you know, it'll work good this way. And so, yeah, I didn't expect to get this much pigment out of it, but I did. Um, let me finish up and I'm going to clean up with my microfiber cloth and I will again be right back. <clears throat> Hi, so I went ahead and finished up this eye. Um, I used some of the ColourPop eyeliner on there and then the Superhero by IT and then um, Actually, over on this side, I had gone ahead and used the Emride um, eyeliner 
over there. And again, I use the superhero on both sides. Uh, this really does work, and I was really skeptical of it. That's why I hadn't tried it um, up until now. But um, yeah, this black base, you only need a little tiny bit. I mean, a little, little tiny bit. And um, you don't need to coat it really thick on your eye. Um, it'll go ahead and it'll pick up with it being a gray as well as it being, you know, a thick coat, um, a lighter gray coat, and it'll pick up the color as well. So uh, let's see. This eye, I actually had a really um, pretty even thick coat over here, and then over here was more uh, gray, and they both picked up really well. As far as the way that the eyes looks kind of came out, this is, yeah, how they came out. So um, I did end up spraying with the Glisten Up by ColourPop. This has mica in it, but um, the colors were pretty vibrant before I went ahead and sprayed with this. And it, this didn't cause everything to move, which I was kind of afraid of too, so I did it off of camera. And like I said, it didn't cause anything to go go over smudge or move or any of that stuff so yeah actually a really good product I wasn't expecting it um these ones they both show up a lot uh better with the black base I mean you can really you can see the color and you can definitely um see the duochrome multi-chrome I think they're more duochromes um, but yeah you can definitely see them a lot better with this um, and uh, as far as the metachrome palette it showed up on top of the black base as well um, so yeah and it caused a whole bunch especially this color to really really pop and you can see both the yellow and the green in it and um, yeah I would go ahead and if you're wanting to play with a look like this and see how far you can go ahead and push your multi-chromes or duochromes, um, I would definitely suggest this. It's all um, by profusion. It's not terribly expensive. I think um, the palette was like $14 and then this kit that had the base and the two uh, loose multi-chromes was... Um, actually about $12. So if you're wanting to go ahead and play and see how far you can push some of your looks, this might be a really fun palette to go ahead and pick up. Um, it may not be in stores anymore. Um, you may have to order it off the Walmart website or you can order it off of the Profusion website. So um, it came out I think in February was when I went ahead and picked this up. but. Um, it definitely does work and um, as far as going ahead and getting everything you know off like I said um, I put way too much of the black base and it's smeared everywhere so I went ahead and used the cleansing oil and the microfiber cloth to go ahead and clean it up and get it back you know so it's just on my eyelids kind of thing worked out really well um, I don't think I'll have a problem getting it off because, like I said, with this, you can just about get any makeup off, okay? An oil cleanser and a microfiber cloth will get a lot of everything off of anything. So, uh, okay, so um, I went ahead and took off uh, the multi crumbs from Profusion and I used my cleansing oil by Hado Lavo and I just did the eyes. Um, I didn't take off the rest of the makeup. There we go. And these you can pick up over at Dollar Store. They're actually made for cleaning your cars or for going ahead and cleaning your countertops. And as you can see, I've stained mine all over with makeup. But um, they go in the wash and um, they're 
like a dollar at dollar stores. So they're a really good purchase and you can reuse them. And so I thought I'd go ahead and show you that it didn't stain. So that's my bare lid. And I'll go ahead and put some of the uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer on there now. I have a different, um, well, actually, let's see what we can do as far as going ahead and doing an everyday look for me with a uh, with some of the multi chromes and let me go ahead and grab the palette here and we can go ahead and do a regular look that doesn't have the black background so <clears throat> as far as what I want to go ahead and do I think I'll go ahead and start with um, this orange over here and I'm just going to go ahead and use fingers so these are the mats these are the ones that don't um, have any of the yeah these ones don't have any of the duochrome in there but like I said, I started off with this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the red in the outer corner. And let me go ahead and grab a brush. That, this AOA brush will work good for that. So there we go with that. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use the virtual reality shade, which is the orange one here. And I have a feeling that it's... Um, when I've used it in the past, it usually shows up pretty much an orange. But actually, this time it may be showing up a little bit more red. Something that I wasn't expecting there. There we go. Now we're getting some of the dual chrome. Now, I don't know if you can see see it but I can in person I'm getting a mix of the orange and the red on the lid so yeah again another really strong colorful look and um, let's see if we can go ahead and maybe bring that down a little bit here so uh, this I'm going to go ahead and clean it up here Just using the because I didn't think it would go this deep in this dark but we can go ahead and clean it up and just take it down so it's only on the lid instead of going all the way up to the brow so um, There we go. And like I said, my microfiber cloth is a little bit damp, and that's why it was so easy to go ahead and take it off up there. What else I have here? I think I have. This is a this is a Sigma 170, but it um, has a tip on it there. And as far as going ahead and doing an eyeliner shade, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this color, which is actually one of those brown colors in the matte area. As an eyeliner here. Okay, so for more of an everyday kind of look, um, this is kind of what I'm coming up with. And let me get some mascara on. This is a superhero by It. So we'll get, get that on. And yeah, I can see the duochrome here. It's pink to orange. Okay, so here 
that's the way that the look turned out on um, well the base that we went ahead and used for this one is a pretty fresh uh, concealer and so yeah but this is one of the lighter ones and so uh, this is what it turns out looking like uh, when you go ahead and use just a regular base with it and uh, I think it's pretty I really do um, so I hope that you've liked the video and uh, seen what these um, what the Metachrome palette and uh, the loose shades can do and uh, Profusion just keeps on innovating and they always have a lot of pigment a lot of sparkle to their um, Actually, I just thought of one other thing. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of this and just put it right on the inner corner. So we'll just sort of add in some of this. I mean, you might as well make it pop as much as you can, right? So this is the green to the, uh, uh, the, the gold to the green or the green to the gold, however you want to think about it. So, yeah. And had and added some of that in to give it a little bit of a pop there on the inner corner. And I think that's the look that I'm going to walk around with all day long. And uh, thank you and have a great day, okay? Bye.